Hey, give me keys. Wait, <laughs> I want one. Going for adoption. Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog. It's a new week, it's a new month. Happy March. I hope you're all kicking butt already, which I'm sure you are because you guys are amazing. Today is Tuesday. It is 9.15. We have our team call in 15 minutes. I don't know what I'm filming today. <laughs> Normally each week I have like an idea of what I wanna film and a plan, but you know what? I decided this week, I'm just gonna use this as my diary. I'm gonna take you along with my days. I'm gonna show you a bit of the new office, which I'm not sure you've seen yet on my channel, and a bit more of like just an everyday vlog. You'll see Greg, you'll see Leo, you'll see some of our interns at the office, so that's what we're doing. I saw a couple of you in the last video saying you missed some of my business content, which was surprising to me. I kind of felt like you guys would maybe find it boring, but that's great that you like it because that's what we're doing 99.9% .9 of the time. So already this morning I have filled out my gratitude journal. I get so many questions about this is called the five minute journal pretty sure this is the name of their website too every single day i go in here let me show you i open a page write the date and in the morning first thing i fill out what i'm grateful for what would make today great my daily affirmations so one of my daily affirmations is i am in control of my thoughts and emotions as an example and then at night time i fill out three amazing things that happened that day and how today could have been better. The journal takes me about five minutes to fill out and what it does is it brings all the positive things that happened in my day to the forefront of my brain. So it kind of just makes me feel better about my day. I don't know. I honestly, I took about 10 days off from it because I was having a really hard time with my BPD lately. I've been getting way back into DBT training and therapy, but I just picked this back up in the last couple of days and I'm seeing a huge difference already. Ready. So I just wanted to drop that tip. Let's go find Greg. Let's see what Greg's up to. Okay, I was gonna go find Greg, but then I saw this girl and she is so freaking cute. I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Hi, sweet girl. Is mommy blocking your son? Here, let me lay down with you. <laughs> this is the cutest thing ever. I could lay with you all day. What's good? I'm vlogging. So I've been riding the scooter back from work. You guys want to see what I got yesterday? A new e-bike. So you're going to drive that from work to home? Yeah, three miles. With a really big helmet on. And oh, knee, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap pads. on my whole body. Oh, you want to see a picture that I thought looked like could be us, the goals? Yeah. That's us on our new bike. <laughs> oh my God, that, that is so us. It's not even funny. <laughs> okay, fam, we are getting on the team call and then we're running to the office for a pretty full day. We have meetings and interviews all day long. We have four or five interviews, which is something that we'll talk about later at the office, just growing the team and what that means to us. So it's been a little bit crazy, but all good. Let's we got do this. this. We got this, fam. Hey guys, I saw your comments on the last video and I want you to know Sydney still works here. She's still here, guys. Her and Nod are gonna be here in one week, so you'll meet them in person. That's all. What up, lady? Got my fave. Got that rocket fuel? You know the waitress in there that's foreign? Yeah, she's really nice. Right? I asked her where she's from and she's from Belarus. I wanted to ask her that yesterday, no way. She's so nice. That's dope. Oh, by the way, this is an iced almond milk latte. So guys, this is actually Greg's electric scooter. The whole team has used this. Yeah, we got this for Leo when he first moved to LA because he didn't have a car and we needed for him to get to work. Now Greg uses it. He used it yesterday to get home from the office. Faster than Mari gets home in the car. Yeah, because right, there's so such bad traffic. I just feel like you need a helmet. Come on, we're late for work. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so guys, this is our new office. You guys haven't seen this yet. This is our main lobby and it's pretty extra. This is a communal office space. So we share it with other people, like other businesses. But we actually have two offices in here. Lady, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, so this is our first office. It's like the team office, I would say. It's a lot bigger than the other one. Here we have Leo and Ashley working hard. And this is our view, which is much better than the last office. The last office, we didn't even have a view. This is amazing. And then just down the hallway, we have our other office. 
which is mostly mine and Greg's office. And this is where I'm gonna take my therapy call today. <laughs> and this is the view here. Lulu has been loving playing out here. There's even like a little river she's been going into, which is so funny. Okay, so I just caught up with Ashley and Leo a little bit, and now I'm sitting down for the next hour to do therapy. I've had the same therapist for 14 years. I talk to her every single week. So even on my busiest days, I make time for this. With that said, Waterline in general takes a lot of upkeep. Like you have to be practicing therapy and DBT, dialectical behavioral therapy, as often as you possibly can. And I have not been doing that. Like work has been a priority for me right now. And I let my DBT practice slide and I feel it. I had a really bad past few days. I'm not even feeling that great today, to be honest. Just want to be transparent. I wake up feeling really, really low sometimes. And I, I don't want to go too in depth right now, but I need to get back on my DBT game. So I signed up for a DBT group in my area. I'm on the wait list. It's actually a clinic that strictly focuses on borderline personality disorder, which is amazing. They even do like live in programs for like a year plus, which is crazy. I'm very excited to work with them. Hopefully they have room for me soon. And yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm going to be focusing way more on upkeeping my mental health. Let's do it. Oh, and I always take notes. I don't want to show them, but I always take notes for my therapy calls because otherwise I will forget certain things that I want to discuss. So let's do it. just ran home from the office, grabbed a salad for lunch. And in about five minutes, I have an interview. I've been on back-to-back -back calls the whole day. I keep forgetting to pick the camera up because today's getting so crazy. But I had a meeting with our personal assistant. She's gonna do some things for us this week that we don't have time for. Then I had a PR call. Then I also have my therapy call, an interview. Now this, this is the salad I got. It is from this place called Simply Salad in Santa Monica. It's so good. They chop all the ingredients up really tiny which is how I like it. I'm gonna shove this in my mouth hole so that I have time to prepare for the interview. And there's no forks left. Okay, wish me luck. Guys, this is my dad and Alexandra. We're having a FaceTime. Dad doesn't want to show his face because he says he doesn't look good today. <laughs> this is our family dog, Archie. Fun fact, Archie's been all the way to Switzerland. Right, Archie? Okay, you guys, my meetings and my work are finally done. And I'm gonna go meet Greg at Earth Cafe for like a coffee or something. I'm bringing this gal. This gal loves her daddy. Anytime I say daddy, which is what she thinks Greg's name is. She is so excited. She loves to see her daddy after work. Yeah, she'll like run into the yard to look for him and it's the cutest thing. So yeah, we are off to Earth Cafe and I'll see you guys there. Come on then, we're gonna go see daddy. Up, up, go. Yeah. She's like, you didn't bring me anything? Why do you not have any treats? Look at these beautiful half caffeinated. Are these half or D? Dude, I had a person in training, so we'll see based on the uh the Did you say time. half caffeinated? I said half calf, she thought I said half and half. I don't know. She was in training, but they look good. These look so good. I look like a marshmallow over here. Hey, give me keys. Hey, come here. Give me keys. Give that a keys. Kiss, kiss, you're mine. Uh, oh, no, no. I've been at work all day to buy you food. <laughs> Wait, I want one. Please. Ew, oh dad, your face smells. Right, you're going up for adoption. Can I never say that? <laughs> okay, guys, it is now the next day. It's Wednesday. We're back at the office as per usual. Yesterday ended up being like a little bit stressful because we got some news about taxes and just this whole interview process is so crazy. I mean, Greg's on interviews all day long. Yeah, I think as his company has grown, if there's one thing that we never anticipated being such a hurdle or if we didn't realize it would be such a powerful part of growing a business is just finding talent and finding people to be on the same Bloom mission with us. But yeah, the hiring process as the team has grown, as the company has grown, as we're trying to find more qualified, more experienced people is becoming a huge task. And something that I now understand why companies have like literally a recruiter for it from initially messaging someone or getting messages to some, from someone on LinkedIn to actually hiring them is like literally a two, three month period. And I think what happens with us is we get so many applications because people want to work in social and they see our page and they want to be a part of it, which we appreciate so, 
so much. But I think what ends up happening is it's way more work than I think people realize. Our whole team grinds like yeah. grinds. It's a little bit intimidating for people. That's the hurdle we're kind of getting over. And then obviously Greg and I are still incredibly involved in all of our businesses, which is what we want. But it means that we just get really busy with hiring and we have other things we need to be doing. So it's just, it's a lot. But we got this. Yeah. We got this. We're gonna eat our meat sticks and continue getting this. You know, thanks to you guys, we're growing the team. And we have so many fun products coming this year. And I can't wait to have this dream team, have this dream product line. You guys are gonna witness before your eyes bloom turning into the company that we know it can be and what it's going to be. Okay, guys, on that note, I am gonna close out the video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked seeing our new office. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below what you'd like to see next. When is the 10K calorie challenge gonna happen? We all wanna know. Um. We'll get back to you. <laughs> See you soon.